Dr. Yoon Hai Lee, a postdoctoral researcher at the MD Anderson Cancer Center, has just been arrested. And authorities say he tried to smuggle critical U.S. funded breast cancer research, vaccine research, to China. So Lee came to MD Anderson in 2022 under a State Department research visa. His work was part of a project funded by the NIH and the Department of Defense to develop a vaccine that could prevent breast cancer from spreading. But instead of wrapping up the project, which was about 70% complete, he allegedly took over 90 gigabytes of the data and uploaded it to a China-based cloud server. He was stopped at the Houston airport trying to board a one-way flight to China. So in a sworn statement, Lee said that the work was going to waste, that it was the product of his effort over three years, and that he believed he had the right to take it with him. So let's pause right there. Because here's what isn't talk being talked about enough right now across this country, groundbreaking medical research is currently being frozen or shut down altogether because of federal funding rollbacks under this current administration. Studies with real life implications, oncology, reproductive health, Alzheimer's, all are getting axed midstream. So when Lee says he fears the work was being abandoned, it's not entirely far-fetched. Doesn't justify the theft though, but it does raise the question, is the United States setting the stage for this kind of desperation, especially when we're the ones defunding the research? MD Anderson says Lee broke confidentiality, concealed outside funding, and violated trust. So he's now out on bond under GPS monitoring and facing serious federal charges. So this case isn't just about a stolen thumb drive. It is about intellectual property, ethics, and whether a broken research economy makes us vulnerable to foreign interference. So what do you think? Is this espionage or fallout from neglecting our own scientific workforce?